Well, hello. And welcome to a Vlogmas day 21. I'm gonna try to have a really good attitude today because I'm just gonna try. I gotta try. I woke up with a headache. I went to work, by the way. Um, I already took my makeup off because it's really freaking cold out and I basically have to like cover my face like this. So, yeah. So it's kind of annoying to do that like with makeup on. So I just took my makeup off already. But, woke up with a headache, took some ibuprofen, felt a little bit better. And then, right as soon as lunchtime hit, um, I just had the worst headache again. So, it's like, I don't know, six something probably. And my head is like pounding. I also feel like, like I'm not sick. But I feel like I'm getting like sinus issues because there's like all this pressure and like right like behind my eyes and like right into here. And it like, this is gonna sound crazy, but it like feels like I have like boogers like stuck, but I don't. It's really frustrating. Doyle thinks it's frustrating too. Right. So I currently have a pretty bad headache, but I think, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but, and I just turned like a bunch of lights on. So usually when I have a headache, I just wanna like go crawl in a dark hole and just not wake up for a long time. But I need to eat something and I think that will hopefully help because usually that does help. It's like eating, eating and showering and like doing something purposeful really helps me. I don't know why, but it, it just, I feel like it's a mental thing too, because I'm like kind of stressed out. So I think that's part of it as well. So I don't know. I just, it's, it's all, I mean, it's literally all in my head. Like I have a headache and I'm stressed. So I have like anxiety and I'm just anxious about stuff. But yeah. So I think. This is what I, this is my plan for this evening. I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna do that first. And um, I'm not gonna go on the internet tonight. I just, I can't do it. I do have a partial video already ready to go. Well, not, it's not ready to go, but like, I think I was almost done editing. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not even gonna open up my computer. Well, my computer's open, but that's because that's how it was left last night. So I'm gonna close my computer. I'm not gonna go on there. But my plan is, I'm gonna clean up the just couple of things that are on this table. And if I can do it myself, which I think I can, I'm pretty sure I can, um, like pull out the extension and decorate and set my table for Christmas Eve Eve. That will make me feel accomplished. Plus I need to set out my, um, like here I just put my centerpiece, but that's gonna change a little bit. So I wanna put that on the table. Like I feel like that'll make me feel a little bit better. So that's my big goal for tonight is just the table, obviously the centerpiece too, because that's part of the table. Eat a little bit of something and legit go to bed. <laughs> like those are my goals. It's really, really silly, but I know those are my goals. Oh, plus, I did the dishes and those are air drying because my dishwasher sucks, so whatever. And um, oh, I did ice last night in my new little ice cubey trays, whoa! So I am gonna um, crack these babies open and um, put them in this little bad boy. So I got this too to hold the ice, so. Yeah, I'm gonna start making some ice for the next few days. I think I'm actually gonna have my brother like pick up a bag of ice too, because um, I wanna use the like the ones I'm making for drinks if people want like something with ice. And then um, I have a beverage cooler as well. Don't mind the dog treats, let me move those. Um, this is like a beverage cooler that I got from World Market, I believe, and it's got like a galvanized insert, it's got cloth napkins in it currently. Well, those will go away in a minute. Um, but I wanna put some beverages in there and I've got like some bottled like root beer and I'll have like Cokes and Diet Cokes and just lots of other stuff to put in there. So um, I think I'll have my brother 
run to um, like the gas station or whatever. His way here. Oh, update on the brother situation. I thought he was gonna come either tonight or sometime tomorrow, but turns out he's actually gonna come on Christmas and he's gonna be here about noon. So he's gonna leave Iowa, I don't know, like mid morning. And then, um, cause it's only like a three, and a half hour drive. I think it's like only three and a half hours, so it's not that bad. So that's the plan for now. Who knows, it may change. But he is planning on being here at noon to kind of like help me set up. Plus, crack on the windshield. I don't know if I've said this or not. I can't remember. Um, called my insurance agency to tell them about the windshield and um, then I called another number and I got someone to actually fix my windshield. They're actually coming here on Saturday at noon. <laughs> my garage is actually heated, so they need at least 50 degrees for like the adhesives to set, and I think a car has to like sit for a little while or whatever. So the guy that owned this place before, remember him with the dark paint, that guy? Well, turns out he actually had a classic, I think it was a Camaro maybe, and he would like to work on it you know, in the garage in the winter time in Minnesota. So can't really do that without heat. So he put in this like wall heater in the garage. I've never used it, but it does work. Cause I, you know, once I went through like all the inspections and stuff, I had to like learn how to use everything. So basically in my utility room, I just had to flip a switch and then go out there and turn it on. Um, so Saturday early morning when Doyle wakes me up, well, he'll probably wake me up between like five and seven. So I will um, wake up with Doyle and then just turn it on to get it like up to temperature. And then I have to take my dad's car and move that out of the garage um, for the day. And uh, because they gotta be able to like get all around the vehicle and stuff, so. Anyway, that's what's happening. I'm gonna do some things and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and hopefully I'll have something interesting to show you, AKA the table later on. If for some reason I can't do it by myself, I'll just have to wait until my brother comes, but I would like to get something accomplished tonight because I feel like it will help my brains. I hope it helps my brains, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But eating, tabling, see you in a little bit. Okay, before I like embark on my journey of the evening, I totally forgot to share with you guys that um, the staff party that we had today where I made my taco dip stuff, I've got all my empty containers, but um, I brought, I don't know if I showed you guys what I brought, but I brought a bottle of Smirnoff vodka. It was highly suggested that everybody bring alcohol, so that's what I did. And it was like a $10 gift limit or whatever. And um, I think mine was on sale at the liquor store at like 10.99. I mean, who cares, it's a dollar. So whatever, it was a dollar more. But I wanted to share what I got, which is this California red wine. Uh, Menage a Trois is the brand name. And I thought that was freaking hilarious, so yeah. Um, so it's some red wine, and I guess uh, the gal that bought this was telling me that it's actually more of like a sweeter red wine so it's not like super i don't know she said i think she said use the word dry like a cabernet or like really rich or whatever so anyway and then um i also got this which is a russell stover box of chocolates so i will probably end up putting those out for christmas as well but those are the things i got so yeah very exciting um the person that gave this was actually giving away mostly coffee, but she knows that I don't drink coffee. So there was a few select people in the group that got chocolates instead of coffee. So yeah, but okay, I'm really gonna go this time and I will see you guys when hopefully some things are done. Okay, so it is a few hours later. I ate a little bit of something and I accomplished a little bit of something. So I feel a little bit better. Um, I've got the dishes going again because I've got to use some of those dishes tomorrow because I am making rum cake tomorrow. So I will take you along on that journey and, um, you know, show you that I'm actually doing something interesting. But I did my table. Ta -da -da! Very exciting, right? So let me turn you around and I'll show you all of the glory. So this is the table situation. The damn plant is not gonna stay there. I'm gonna move that, I think, upstairs for now. 
but it does get quite a bit of light down here, so I'm gonna leave it down here for now. That is the table. All of that stuff is gonna go away too, in the corner over there, and that cart, it's all gonna go away. But yep, this is it. This is it. So, this is where I am going to sit, and um, I didn't put out the utensils or anything yet. I don't know, I just didn't do it. But everyone's gonna ask where things are from, and I might as well just tell you now. So I got the runner at Bed Bath & Beyond, chargers are from world market so are the napkins there's like a plain black napkin plates both from home goods several years ago i got all of these um initial mugs from anthropology they don't match perfectly this is more of like a bone color and this is more of a bright white the glasses are actually from the dollar tree but they're like really heavy weight and I really, really like them. So that is what everyone's place setting looks like. That one looks a little bit different, and let me show you why. <laughs> this is for Jackson, which is my nephew, and I'm pretty sure that he won't use a real glass, but I got this, and <laughs> it's a penguin. Like, how cute is that? And I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the bigger version. I think this was like the 12 ounce version. Um, and then like it has like his like the little penguin beak as a straw and then you can um, Put that down and then there's no straw anymore. So I just thought this was really cute. So I figured he might want to use that versus a mug or a glass and the mugs are actually for um, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate later. So that's what that is for and then I got my same kind of tablescape thing going on. This stuff was all from at home that I got on one of my other vlogs, I believe. So that's how the table's looking so far. I'm very excited about it. I like the way that all of this looks and obviously I was able to um, extend the table by myself. So that was actually quite easy and I'm very satisfied with myself. Now over here, this is gonna go away as well. Um, now over here, I've got my lacquer tray. You can't see it very well. You can see it more well in person. More well, I don't think that was proper English, but when have I ever done proper English? Um, I have these glass candlestick holders that I got at World Market um, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I don't know. And then I've got these little like pine cone balls sitting on top of them. And then I just shoved all the pine cone garland in the tray and I don't know I don't really mind how that looks I do want to hang the star up eventually I just I'm so anti-committal with hanging stuff you guys like I've got a problem but yeah and then my stocking is gonna go away even though I know my mom watches my vlogs and she'll be like well you should keep it out but uh, I don't know I think I'm just gonna put it in one of those drawers because it's kind of stressing me out right Doyle are you stressing me out what are you doing on the what are you doing Playing with a waffle? Yeah. It's like a little after eight o'clock and I know it's really, really freaking early, but I'm gonna go to bed because my head is still kind of pounding and I've got a bunch of stuff I wanna do tomorrow, like the um, baking and all of that. So I just wanna be good, you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna push it tonight. So I'd rather just go to bed a little bit earlier get some stuff done and then on Saturday I actually can I don't know sleep in isn't the right word but like relax a little bit because I'm not having people over until like five or six or I think they're gonna come over about five and then we're gonna eat probably around six is I think the I think the goal I don't know so I'm hoping on Saturday in the morning, like I'll turn the heater on in the garage and whatnot, but I'm hoping Saturday in the morning I can get some editing done because I don't know, I might be able to get some editing done actually tomorrow because the cake, I mean it takes a while, but you're waiting a while too because obviously you're waiting for a cake to bake in the oven as well. So uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling anxious, but that's just, who I am as a person, so yeah. Right, Doyle? You coming up? Oh, 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 here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, God, it looks like I'm Doyle. Oh my God, look at that. Oh no, Doyle, you moved. 
<laughs> it literally looks like I had his body and butt <laughs> was attached to my head. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, I know. I know. Did you want to go outside? <gasps> oh, do you want to go outside? Oh my gosh. He's very excited. His tail is a wiggling, wiggly tail. Hi, boo. What's up, little buddy? But yeah, um, sorry this vlog was so like complainy. I feel like I just wish my brain would just like turn off sometimes. You know, like could there just be a switch, just like like right here, and just like boop, turn it off, and then you can like boop, turn it back on. <laughs> be like really hopeful. But um, yeah, but I'm gonna go because I'm gonna go to bed early, and I'm kind of excited about it. Doyle's excited about it too, but. He's always excited about going to sleep or taking naps or whatever. I'm gonna go, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to see me bake a cake tomorrow. <laughs> and um, and by the way, I'm like not a baker, so this should be like kind of interesting. So I've done it before, but I've done it like with help, um, like from my mom. So I don't know, I might have to like call her and put her on speaker or something. <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Doyle really appreciates it too, right bud? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Benny. And um, we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. I know, I know, it's so exciting. All right, we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> All right, bye guys.